Number one. Can you take a shot of this? Yes, I can. There's still a little film left in the camera. What is the man most likely doing? Number two. Would you like to stop in here for a few minutes for a snack or a drink? That sounds like a good idea. I certainly am thirsty. What does the man mean? Number three. I'm going to stop in at this shop and get a couple of magazines to read. But the plane is taking off soon. What does the woman mean? Number four. Do you get to many of the university's football games? Only rarely. What does the man mean? Number five. Have you met the new neighbors yet? No, I haven't. Why don't we go call on them? What does the man mean? Number six. What do you think of this accounting report? It doesn't seem to have been done very carefully. What does the man imply about the report? Number seven. Will Dr. Burton be the speaker at tonight's conference? As far as I know. What can be inferred about the man? Number eight. Do you know when you're going to be ready to leave? I hope we can go a bit later in the evening. I'd like to get a little rest before we go out. What does the man want to do? Number nine. That musical production was truly magnificent. I'll say. What does the man mean? Number 10. The results have been confirmed by several independent researchers. Then they must be accurate. What does the man say about the results? Number 11. How did Anna react to the situation? She couldn't have been more delighted. How did Anna feel about the situation? Number 12. Has the lawyer received the letter yet? 
The letter was delivered to the lawyer's office by courier just this morning. What does the woman mean? Number 13. Do you think you'll be able to find someone else to head this committee? No problem. You're off the hook. What does the woman mean? Number 14. Doesn't Kathy have to work tonight? Luckily, she was able to persuade her roommate to take her shift. What does the man say about Kathy? Number 15. Can I have an ashtray, please? Oh, smoking isn't permitted here. You'll have to extinguish your cigarette. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 16. I'm going to work really hard this year and see if I can graduate in June. It doesn't sound easy, but I don't think it's an unreachable goal. What does the woman think? Number 17. Were you able to get a new computer? If the computers hadn't gone on sale, then I just couldn't have afforded to buy one. What does the woman imply? Number 18. Can you tell me about any previous office experience you have? I've worked as a receptionist in a doctor's office for a year and a half. What is the woman probably doing? Number 19. Did you enjoy the theater performance last night? It wasn't all I had hoped for. What does the woman say about the performance? Number 20. It's an awfully long walk home, and I'm more than a little tired. Let's take the bus instead of walking. Then you'll be able to get home quickly and get some sleep. What does the woman suggest? Number 21. The fee for this course is $100. How can the fee be $100? It wasn't that much last semester. What does the woman say about the course?
Number 22. Tom's not at home now. He's at work at the architectural firm. Then he did get the job. What had the man assumed about Tom? Number 23. How serious was the accident? Well, the motorcycle rider was taken to the hospital in an ambulance. What does the woman mean? Number 24. Do you prefer to work on this assignment alone or together? In this case, I think that two heads are better than one. What does the man mean? Number 25. Can you finish this project within the next two hours? What you're asking for is not impossible. What does the man mean? Number 26. What did you think of the new art gallery? I couldn't have been more impressed. What does the man say about the art gallery? Number 27. Did you spend very much time on this assignment? Only rarely have I put so much time into an assignment. What does the woman mean? Number 28. I can't believe it actually snowed here. We rarely get snow this far south. I wish it had been a little colder. Then the snow might have stuck around longer. What does the man mean? Number 29. I've got to get over to the chemistry lab. There are only a couple more hours until the lab closes, and I've still got a lot more to do. So you haven't finished the lab assignment yet. What had the man assumed about the woman? Number 30. I didn't realize before how tall this building is. There can't be too many more flights of stairs to go. If only the elevator hadn't been broken, then we wouldn't have had to climb all of those stairs. What does the woman imply?
Questions 31 through 34. Listen to a conversation between two students. Hey, Gloria, how would you like to increase the extent of your educational and historical background? Steve, I don't understand what you're saying at all. I just took my final in History 101 this morning, and I'm trying to get rid of the books. They cost $80. Why don't you try to sell them back to the bookstore? I tried, but they'd only refund $20, and I paid so much more for them. I'd like to get at least $40. Well, I'm not going to take History 101, so I'm not really interested in those books. Maybe you should ask some other friends. I already have. Everyone I know has already taken History 101 and doesn't want those books. Why don't you put up some advertisements in the History Building? Maybe someone you don't know will call you and buy them. I'll try, but I don't think that'll work. Then you'll have to go back to the bookstore. After all, $20 is better than nothing. Number 31. What is the topic of this conversation? Number 32. Why is the man interested in selling his books? Number 33. Why does the man not want to sell the books to the bookstore? Number 34. What does the woman suggest that the man do? Questions 35 through 38. Listen to a conversation about sleeping habits. Did you know that the average time that people spend sleeping decreases considerably as they get older? Really? I would have thought that the opposite was true, that people needed more sleep when they were older. No. Studies clearly show that the need for sleep decreases rather than increases with age. I was just reading a journal article from my psychology class, and it contained some really interesting information about sleep. Really? What did you find out? Well, young babies required the most sleep, and that should come as no surprise. The average one-year-old sleeps about 13 hours a day. People in their 20s need about 8 hours of sleep a night. Well, that sounds about right to me. That's my age group, and I know I'm at my best when I'm able to sleep that much each night. What about older people? Well, the average amount of sleep decreases with age. And in the study I read, the average amount of sleep for people in their 50s was between 5 and 6 hours a night. That's really surprising to me. I expected the opposite to be true. Number 35. What information surprised the man? Number 36. Where did the woman learn this information about sleep? Number 37. What is the man's age group? Number 38. Approximately how many hours of sleep per night do 50-year-olds require?
Questions 39 through 42. Listen to a talk by a student advisor on campus. I'm Ms. Morton, your advisor. I'd like to explain the policies for dropping classes at this school. It's important to understand these policies or your grades can suffer. The policy at this school is that you can drop a course within the first three weeks of the semester. To drop a course, you first need to get the signature of the professor of the course you want to drop on an official drop card. Then you need to come to me to get the signature of your advisor. Let me give you a couple of strong warnings. First, you cannot officially drop a course after the first three weeks of the semester. If you are having problems in a course and you decide later on that you want to drop the course, it is impossible to do so. Second, if you stop attending a course without going through the official drop procedures, the course will remain on your schedule and you will receive a failing grade. It is important for you to understand these procedures and follow them. If you do so, you will not have any problems. Any questions? Number 39. What is the primary topic of the topic? Number 40. When can a student officially drop a course? 